Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2 136 from RC Propeller Engineering Statics Toward Addition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the projected component of the 100 LP force acting along the axis PC of the pipe. So, to solve this problem, first of all, let's express this 100 LP force into Cartesian vector form. So let's start. And this 100 LB force is directed between points C and D in Cartesian vector form for that we have to find the some coordinates coordinates of some points so for that, first of all, we have to find the coordinates of point P that are 0, 0, 0 fit. Then the coordinates of point C that are 6, 4, negative 2 fit. And the coordinates of point D that are 0, 12, 0 fit. Now we have found the coordinates. Now we must remember that a vector has a magnitude and its direction, and this direction can also be written in terms of a Cartesian vector form along the same direction. And this Cartesian vector in terms is equals to position vector. divided by its magnitude f c d is equals to its magnitude into its direction so now we have to find the unit factor directed along c and d so for that we have UCD is equals to RCD divided by its magnitude is equals to coordinates of point D minus coordinates of point C. So we have negative 6 I plus 8 J plus 2k divided by square root of negative 6 squared plus 8 squared plus 2 squared. So from here UCD becomes negative 3 over root 26 i plus 4 upon root 26 j plus 1 upon root 26 k. Let's consider it as equation 1. So now put UCD in equation 1. So our equation 1 becomes FCD is equals to 100 into negative 3 over root 26i plus 4 over root 26j 
plus 1 over root 26k. So from here FCB becomes negative 300 i over root 26 plus 400 over root 26j plus 100 over root 26k. So now we have expressed FCB in terms of Cartesian vector form. So now to find the component of 100 LB force along axis BC we have to find the dot product between FCB and the unit vector CB so for that we have to find the UCB now UCB could be written as position vector RCB divided by its magnitude so RCB is coordinates of point B minus coordinates of point C so that R is 6 I minus 4 J plus 2 K divided by root of negative 6 square plus negative 4 square plus 2 square. So from here UCD becomes negative 3 over root 14 i negative 2 over root 14 j plus 1 over root 14 k Now let us find the dot product between the force FCB and the unit vector UCB. So now FCB is equals to FCB dot UCB. So from here we have negative 300 over root 26 i plus 400 over root 26 j plus 100 over root 26 k dot this unit vector right here we have negative 3 over root 14 i minus 2 over root 14 j plus 1 over root 14 k so from here we have fcb is equals to negative 300 into negative 3 divided by root 26 into root 14 and i dot i plus 400 into negative 2 divided by root 26 into root 14 j dot j plus 
hundred over root twenty six into root fourteen k dot k. So from we have F C D is equals to forty seven point one seven minus forty one point nine three one plus five point two four one four so F C D becomes ten point four eight L Bs or you could write it as F C D is approximately equals to ten point five L Bs. So this is our required answer. Component of hundred LB cores on axis BC. This is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubts about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.